Hey everyone, it's Skidoo, and in this video I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the Code Realize Guardian of Rebirth and Code Realize Future Blessings Nintendo Switch Special Edition. So this is a spe this side, this is a collector's edition, and this is the day one edition, which weirdly wasn't available on the EB Games website, so I actually bought it directly from the Axis website. It was eventually available on Amazon, but I didn't order it on Amazon because it wasn't available on Amazon until later. Anyway, so we're gonna do these. I did already cut the top of the plastic so I could just slide them out because I don't feel like fighting with it during the video. Yeah, so here is the first game. If you are unaware, this is the main game. And then this one here is the like sequel slash fan disc. I have played both of these already on the PS Vita. Um, and I'm and I have the PS4 versions, and it's a problem. I'm just buying all of the Atome games that are being released to support the industry so that they will start to bring more good ones out. You know what I mean? I haven't even played all the ones that I owned. Anyways, I'm gonna stop talking so I can start going through this. Apologize for being out of breath. I just filmed another video and uh and uh yeah, yeah, we we talked a lot. We talked a lot. It's just me. I talked a lot. I'm gonna I'm gonna shut up. But this is this is the Switch edition. Um, I did an unboxing of the PS4 Bouquet of Rainbows, I believe it was called. So I will link that in the description below if you are interested in watching. Of course, this is gonna bend like every other box game. Anyways, we're gonna slide. What is that? Oh, that's a charm. I forgot. It's supposed to come with a charm and an, and an art book or something. No, maybe not an art book. It's supposed to come with a charm and a CD. I'm sorry, I'm talking a lot. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that literally is just part of the box. Okay. So, this part was folded in um, like, like that. And then inside is the charm here. Which I need to get up because I can't see it from sitting on the floor. I'm just going to open it quick so we can... Take a look at it without the plastic. I'm gonna shove it back in the plastic, back in the box, and I'm done the unboxing. Um, so this is what it looks like here. It has a nice protect. I think there's a protective layer on it because it's all oh, fucking scratch up and nasty. Um, but yeah. So back side, it's just one sided. This is the charm. It's got all the boys, and we got Cardia on the front. Um, I will say that I did. I did watch the anime, and I was. Uh, I was. Uh, greatly disappointed but also i expect to be disappointed it's not really that disappointed oh okay Ooh, what was that sound um this is the soundtrack here per i mean in mexico yep no surprise um i'm debating whether to actually open this or not because i really feel like opening it <laughs> but we'll see oh so there's a little art book okay cool so here is the game itself um i'm gonna open this guy in a second but let's do a quick flip through of the art book and get that done with. This is a very oddly sized art book that they went with. Very interesting. So let's see what's in here. Illustration gallery. Oh, by the way, spoiler alert. So if you don't want to know anything about this game, if you haven't played it yet before, maybe, excuse me, I burped. <laughs> maybe don't continue watching this but if you don't care and you've already played or you just don't care because they're just cds anyways um you know just just keep watching doesn't matter we got the characters some info on them i'm just gonna kind of go through this quickly ba -ba -ba. for the record mp i think is my favorite i think he stole my heart it was hard to choose because honestly i did enjoy most of the characters um Versus when I think about when I played Amnesia, I didn't, I liked two of the characters in Amnesia. The rest of them I found kind of boring and I found their roots pretty boring. Um, so we have some of the art for different, I lost my page, different devices in the game. And Abraham, I think might be my second favorite. I don't know. It's hard. Like I said, I liked all of them, but I think Impy might be slightly above everybody. Also his bonus, um scene in future blessings to me was the best because it was just it was what i wanted which was like cute undramatic fucking just straight up like oh 
look, he's a blood type B. I'm blood type B, bro. You know. Oh wait, girl, he's a motherfucking Scorpio, isn't he? I'm a Scorpio. Hello. I didn't know that. I actually don't know like much about them, <laughs> but like their info, like this. That's cool. I like that though. I don't even know their ages. Oh my god, their ages are in here. What? He's the, is he the youngest? Twenty four. 27, 25. I like me my older dudes, though, so, like... Oh, Impy is 27, too? Jesus. Wait, is Impy a Gemini? <laughs> uh, that's funny, but he's also blind type B like me. <laughs> I need to stop. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, Yeah, anyways, I'm not really reading these, but if you guys are reading them, that's cool. Unfriendly... Oh, he dislikes unfriendly animals. He's so tall, though. I love me a tall boy. Um, also, for the record, I'm, like, five foot. <laughs> so, <laughs> tall boys are tall boys. Extra tall boys to me. Oh, she's not... I mean, she's still taller than me, but... I think I'm 153 centimeters. I think. Um, uh, but, but, Everything's unknown about her. Da, da, da. Oh, her lock, Sholmes. I'm sorry, this is like the dumbest thing ever. Ever. If you play the game, just... It's stupid. Anyways. Oh, he's the oldest. Interesting. He does have a romance route in Future Blessings. So if he is a character that you were interested in, which I did actually enjoy his route, but it wasn't my favorite because it was shorter and there's no like extra bonus scene with him which made me a little sad i love him he's so cute what is he i don't know what he is what is that is that libra is that libra no wait yeah i think it's libra or is it virgo it's libra i think it's libra i don't fucking know anyways why am i even going on about there <sighs> okay just to tell <laughs> let you guys know um it is like 6 30 or 7 a.m right now and i haven't slept yet but i also slept until 4 p.m and i had coffee at like 1 a.m so it's 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 a it's a you know i don't know <laughs> i'm in a weird mood we're just doing this now oh well, they've got little little things i'm not reading them because i, <laughs> I don't know i don't have the like mental capacity right now either i'm really overtired or i'm really hyped up uh it was raining and i have the window open and it's nice and cold and I'm just, I'm having a weird time here. I don't know what this is. I can't even read it. Maybe you guys can stop and read that. I hope it's clear enough. But this is fun. Oh, this is their timelines? I'm not even fucking reading. Jeez. Oh, oh, height, height, height things. Height things. Height things. I need to stop talking. Oh my god, is Impy the tallest? I think Impy might be the tallest. Oh, I guess maybe this dude's the tallest. I mean, Queen Victoria is a fucking huge woman, lady. Jesus, she tall bitch. Ow, my knees. Ow, I need my box cutter. Ow, I landed on my bad knee. Ow, motherfucker. Ow. <laughs> Why'd I do that? Ow. Mm. Yay! Here's the front of the game. Ow, my knee cracked. I'm sorry. That's the back of the game. Here's the inside of the game. What is this? Oh, customer support and warranty. That's cool. And this is the cartridge. Standard old cartridge, you know. You know how we do. That's fun. And this is what the back card look the back card, the back thing, the back of the cover thing. I don't know if it's me. Um, you know, this thing. <laughs> that's over here. It's nice. It's pretty. That's that's a pretty uh thing. Okay. Now we're gonna put these to the side. And one of the oh wait, I forgot about the CD. It's probably just gonna be a CD with the tracks, like we all know. Do you guys really wanna see the inside? I don't wanna open it. You know what? This is my channel. I'm gonna do what I want. I'm not gonna open it because I don't feel like it. I'm sorry. It's literally just gonna be like this and like the CD. And uh and uh it's cool it comes with the well lie it doesn't come with the full soundtrack music selections which means it comes with some tracks from the soundtrack now we're gonna do the day one edition of future blessings i can't talk 
Am I already running out of steam? This is real depressing. Okay. Ooh, slide that out there. We've got the front. We've got the back. It is supposed to come with art cards, the soundtrack, and a charm of our little our little buddy Sissy here. This is what the sounds look like. I don't know why I'm talking though. I'm really sorry. I am in a mood today. I hate opening boxes. Because I always track them. Oh, 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 is that come out okay? Come on, come on, come on. You can do it. There we go. Oh, look, I didn't bend it. Yay. <laughs> That's a miracle. So how's it inside? So it's packaged the way the other one was as well. We've got this part that pulls out to give you access and the charm is in oh the charm is smaller okay it's got the charm here got a little sissy where's the where's the oh i'm dumb bah, bah, bah. so he cute he's also looks like he has a, a protective layer over him which is nice very cute very cute one-sided haba Haba, huzzah, I don't know what I'm doing. Come out. I'm rainy. So, I think, I'm pretty sure the, I'm sorry, my, I keep bumping my camera and it keeps bouncing. Pretty sure the PS4 version comes with art cards as well, but I honestly can't remember because I opened it a while ago and I haven't opened it since because I ended up playing them on my Vita and I didn't play them on the PS4. Okay, <laughs> so, another soundtrack. This one is made of this plastic instead of shrink wrap. The other one's shrink wrapped for some reason. Um, but yeah, probably not gonna open Dispo either. I didn't find the soundtrack like crazy good in this. I can't. I honestly can't really remember it if there's any tracks that I was like really into, except maybe the opening song. Oh, I hope the opening songs in these would be cool. Um, but that's what that looks like. Pretty standard back. It looks like there's some shit underneath the plastic in the case. Um, these are the art cards. Which, honestly, I feel like these are the exact same art cards that came in the PS4 version. But I do not remember. Does anybody remember? I'll have to check after. I kind of don't want to open these either, but I have to because it's not my thing. And what the fuck's the point of uploading this video if I don't open these? But if it's the same, it'll be like, fuck. Well, it's the same as the other ones. And I'm going to shove them back in this plastic when, I, when I'm done showing you them anyways. Okay, now i got to open them. Give me a second. I'm tired of things tearing. In a way I don't want, I'll just do what I want for once. How about that? How about we just do what I want? Do what I want. Do what I want. You know, when I watch these videos back and I read my, I listen to myself blabber in the parts that I edit out, I just sigh in shame. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> I disappoint myself. I'm like, mm, wow, she's really fucking weird. Yo. Okay, here's the art cards. We've got Cardia in her fancy outfit that she wears in one of the side things. I'm not a huge fan of it, mostly the hat, but that's just me, you know. We've got Lupin here in his fancy outfit that he wears in the side story. Gonna be honest, I did not like the like main route slash side story thing in this game it was incredibly boring and i apologize to anybody who enjoyed it that's just my personal opinion unfortunately you know it just it wasn't for me it wasn't for me and that's okay <laughs> that's okay um look at my boy he has like a like a fucking bow in his hair he's great i love him he's I feel like I'm moron sexual sometimes, but, like, I love me, my smart characters, too. But there's something just endearing about idiots. But he's, like, a smart idiot. Does that make sense? Like, he knows what he's doing in his profession, but he's also an idiot. <laughs> like, a big idiot. And I'm not really into... Or am I? I was gonna say, am I into, like, flirty people in real life? And I was like, nah, like, I hate flirty people. But then, at the same time, I think... The only person that I've ever actually had feelings for was, like, one of those flirty, charismatic people. So maybe I am just into that. I don't know. And that are all the, that are all the art cards. There's no art book in this one, which is a little disappointing. Um, but whatever. Like, we don't care. I'm gonna open this now. <laughs> this is, like, there's 
Mm, see, look, it's stuck to it. Like, it's stuck. Fuck off. Stuck to it. Anyways. Yeah. So, I will say that I was actually disappointed <laughs> with this game uh, more. Like, the first game was fun. Uh, it's the same warranty thing. We've got a nice little back picture as well. And this is the game cartridge here. Um, oh, it smells good. I'm not, not even close to it. And I can smell the plastic. And I am living for it. Um, yeah. So, I was a little disappointed with this one. Mostly because a lot of the side stories were not what I wanted. <laughs> when I have a, like, bonus disc game that's just not really a sequel. More like just a fun fan disc, as they call it. Um, I want fan service, bro. I want fun, good times, feel good times. Just show me her and the boys having a good time. That's what I want, okay? So him, we get an actual root during the main story, which was nice. That was cool. Herlock Sholmes. <laughs> I can't, that's dumb. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but the rest of them, they have like kind of after stories. So he even has his own route, which I actually kind of enjoyed his route. Uh, it's an end without you being with the guys. It's kind of just you and him, and he gets a happy ending, which is kind of nice. Uh, his story was a little boring. I'm like, I didn't care that much, but it was it was not bad. Uh, these guys here, though, Impies personally was the best because there was no unwanted drama. It was just fully kind of fan service fun time of the two of them living life and getting married and being cute. And I'm just going to say right now... <laughs> Sort, sort of spoiler, but not really spoiler, because I'm not going to tell you, but whatever. Their, like, wedding is the cutest thing. <laughs> Their wedding was so good. Like, they show you a CG, and it's, like, the most ridiculous thing. And I love these two so much, because Cardi decides to share his dream of, like, going to the moon. So they plan to, like, go to the moon together. And I'm just, mm, like, it's just good. Okay. Um, His starts off really, really great. But then it kind of gets dramatic in a dumb way if you watch a lot of anime um and you've seen a lot of slice of life stuff you will know that sometimes they'll try to throw in drama that's not needed and like half the time the drama doesn't even make any sense and you're like why is this an issue just fucking talk to each other that's what happens his drama is like well, actually both of these two their drama is super intense like why why i just want a fun after story i don't need this intense dramatic life or death whatever bullshit like i don't i just want to see them happy stop stop please his really cute but also same time had a bit of that drama where it was like just talk to each other you know like it's not really that big of a deal you're making a big deal about something that's not a big deal but yeah, anyways, that CG is really adorable. There's some really cute pictures in this one. I will give it that. Um, I apologize for not opening the CDs. I just, I'm sorry. I just, I'm, I don't feel like it. This video is already so long and I'm going to have to edit so much out of it. And I don't want to have to get them out of the plastic and put them back in the plastic. And I'm really sorry, but I'm never going to use them right now anyways. So, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> I apologize. Um, yeah, so... Thanks. Um, I'll link my social media and my affiliate links in the description below. You can purchase some stuff through those links if you would like. Um, see Japan on Tokyo Talk Mode. I get a small commission if you purchase anything in those links. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it. I'll also throw my coffee down there um, where you can tip me if you feel the need to. Again, do not feel the need to, but if you do, feel free. Always helps out. Um, I will link the PS4 special edition that I unboxed as well. So you can take a look at that and see the comparison. Maybe which version you'd rather. The PS4 Special Edition Bokeh of Rainbows um, comes with both of the games together. So that's that's an upside with that. Where with the Switch one, I, the cartridges have enough space. I honestly don't know why they didn't just do a Bokeh of Rainbows edition for the Switch and have both games own cartridge. But they were like, no, let's make you spend extra money. And of course I did. So yay. Uh, anyways, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys had a good time. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.